Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. Uh, we have Hans here with us. I always say that, but you're always here. Well, <laughs> why, would, why, why would you do podcasts without <laughs> Just no, myself. Without me, man. Right? I know. Obviously, I mean. it's Hans, a show. we should have some music. Like, da da da. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like uh, Gladiator, you know, the, yeah. the, from the movie Gladiator. Yeah. Actually, you know? this machine that I'm recording on, I could put, push a button and it does have, I can upload unique sounds. But welcome to the episode. If you're new, if you're a listener, welcome back. We hope that you've been enjoying the, the, the episodes. I know we're getting more subscribers, yeah. which is great. So um, please subscribe. And, if, and what is that little arrow? It says so oh, like send it to recommend or what is rec- it? Uh, oh, on the on the video? Yeah, yeah. on the bottom of the YouTube. Yeah. Picture. Well, I mean, not it's not on all of my. I, I gotta put it on there, but uh, yeah, it's there. It's there. Some recommended. Think, yeah, some do. Maybe you YouTube. Forward puts it, it to somebody. You know? Oh, 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 share, share, share. That's the word. Yeah, yeah. Please share it. Uh, if if you have a, a a friend that needs help with dog yeah, issues, if you, <laughs> yeah. If you have yeah. a, if you have somebody who can benefit from it, yeah. No, it's uh, some great things. Today we're gonna talk about if you have a puppy, you gotta listen up. Today it's puppy biting. So Hans, uh, Hans had a lot of puppies. Yeah, <laughs> Over is, I don't think this is going to be a long video. But That's fine. It's okay. You yeah. know, uh, but it's a problem. It's a not yeah, a problem, but a, you know yeah. what's going on is uh, periodically, invariably, I get people. Uh, they buy a puppy, even for me, or especially when they're buying these high-driven breeds like yeah. Malinois and all that. Yeah. And the puppy, they call me and I said, what do I do? The puppy is biting me. He's going to be a vicious puppy. I got to put it down. Right? No, no. This, oh, is, well, this is real okay. stuff, man. Yeah. You know, or I got to I gotta get rid of it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, basically what's going on over there, like, you know, the, the, the dogs, they have two basic drives, which we use in training, uh, prey and defense, yeah. right? Yeah. And so let's talk a little bit about prey. So in, in prey, uh, all the drives are inherited. This is an important sentence I'm going to say. All drives are inherited, but what the drives are used for or not for is learned. Okay, say that one more time because it's okay, important. Okay, so all drives, prey or defense, both drives, all drives are inherited. Okay. But we, let's be talking about prey and defense, so... You know, they are inherited mm-hmm. genetically. They're they're there, right? Yep. And uh, what they are used for is learned. You know. Okay. So so okay. Let's go back to the wolf cup. Okay, wolf cup come, come, comes out of the den. You know, and uh, he sees something hopping around him, or mouse, or something. Mm-hmm. So he goes and catches it and eats it, and he knows it's good, right? So, yeah. so that uh, that uh, um, then he knows it's good. So he learned that when he uses the prey drive yeah. on mouse and catches, it's good. So that's learned, right? Yeah. Mouse is learned, right? Yeah. <clears throat> what what's uh, so I say, okay, the drive is uh, the dog learns what to use it for against or not against, right? Yeah. And then you have my favorite example, Ladybug. Yeah. Right? And Ladybug is uh, bright red. Yeah. So the, the puppy or the cup, wolf cup gets catches its attention. That's why it's red. So it yeah. catches the attention, <laughs> right? Yeah. And the cup go and this is crawling. So he picks it up in his mouth and it tastes like hell, right? I yeah. mean, it does. I yeah. mean, I know from my own experience. When I was a little kid, I was <laughs> yeah. playing with Ladybug. Everybody had to... And I stick a finger in my mouth and you you spitting for half an hour, right? Yeah, bitter. And, uh, and, or birds, you know, he goes and pecks on the Ladybug and he will never do it again, right? That's why they're red because then the... The, the wolf cup or the bird or whatever, when they see it, the they warning. say, I'm yeah. out of here. That's, you know, I'm not want to touch that. And uh, so it doesn't look like anything else. It's just stick out. Yeah. That's why Ladybug is so obviously there, right? Yeah. You know, Can't miss it. Yeah. Dots on it and red. Yeah. So the, the, the dog or the puppy, they learn, you know, what to chase or what not to chase, right? Yeah. Or, or, or in defense, you know, we're not going to talk about defense because it has nothing to do with yeah. the biting on your ankles, right, yeah. of, of the puppy. Yeah. 
you know, and uh, the puppy, you know, a puppy is not doing it because he want to hurt you. It's just the prey drive is kicking in and prey drive is kicked in by the motion, Yeah. right? And people call me, I said, I have this vicious puppy. I call it vicious puppy syndrome. Okay. The two words, vicious and it's a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the two polar opposites. Yeah, vicious puppy. I always <laughs> laugh. I say, oh, you have a vicious Vici- puppy oh, syndrome. What I say, yeah, yeah, it's vicious puppy. Yeah. And I said, no, nah, no, nah, he's just, you know, they want a high-driven dogs, and, and then when the dog is high-driven and when they <laughs> walk around, it chases their shoelaces. I don't know when, when I have a pu- when I had puppies, man, I couldn't keep my shoelaces tied, you know. Oh, yeah. They keep pulling them pulling apart it. all the time, you know. <laughs> and... And people get annoyed by that, you know. It's just like, you know. Yeah. Or the little kid is running around and they bite yeah. in their ass on the diapers and pulling it down. And people say, oh, look, he's attacking my child. Yeah. You know, all these deepest fears the wife had when the husband was buying a puppy or dog that's going to be vicious, going to attack yeah. the children. Yeah. And sure enough, child is running, little toddler, barely walking, and the puppy is grabbing on yeah. his diapers and pull him down and wife says you see yep. it's vicious it's vicious <laughs> get rid of it and you know and the husband <laughs> then calls me or the wife you know yeah. but usually it's the yeah. husband terrified that what's gonna happen next what's going on there is is just the the puppy is being triggered or tripped by the motion yeah. you know that's why you can take a tennis ball and roll it and the puppy yeah. is gonna go and chase it right you don't yeah. have to there's no obedience like yeah, chase that that is teacher, yeah. you just you just roll it in front of it and see when it uh, starts happening and it's happening at specific age okay mm-hmm. usually it can start somewhere around six weeks and up mm-hmm. and different puppies may have it in different way but you know it's, it's usually, a general rule you know so uh, so they about get the puppy and then the puppy is chasing them and biting them on, and it hurts because those puppies little sharp, have these little, little yeah. sharp teeth little shark teeth and, uh, and people are just terrified you, yeah. know, yeah. you know because they don't know what to think about yeah. it right and that's yeah. why i'm trying to explain it yeah so 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 the, the puppy is now learning what should i chase or what should i not chase right just yeah. like the the ladybug the ladybug and, yeah. and they do it at the age when the Wolf cup is just yeah. about gonna leave the den. Yeah, which is around five, six weeks. I yeah. don't know. I'm yeah. just guessing. Yeah. Right? I don't have a you know when you scientific see study. All the on videos it, you know? you've seen. Roughly. Everybody talks about science today, but they have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah. But I say I don't know. You know, I, I can just imagine the puppy is probably moving out of the den somewhere, around, maybe at four weeks and up. Okay, yeah. Yeah. and and that's when the looking, sticking head Everything. out of the den and see what's going on. Something is moving. So he goes for it, right? Yeah. Well, it happens to be your foot, your ankle, your shoelace, your shoe, your sock. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or the baby's running around, right? Yeah. And and so so don't be helplessly just looking at it, yeah. right? You can do two things. I mean, you need to do two things in order to puppy stop doing that. First of all, don't panic, Okay. It's it's not you don't have a vicious puppy, okay? Yeah. You just have a puppy who has a healthy prey drive, yeah. which eventually is gonna be is very valuable trait, which is gonna be used for all sorts of training, yeah. detection, search and rescue, obedience, all sorts of things. Okay, you yeah. can use it for obedience in drive. Yeah. Um, so so don't try to kill it, right? So teach the puppy to use it on something else, like a. Ball. Don't use tennis balls, you know, because they pop them and they may eat them. And also, yeah. tennis ball, that fabric on the tennis ball uh, works like a, a sandpaper on the teeth of the dog. And I've seen dogs holding ball and the teeth were worn out exactly in the shape of the oh, ball, right? Okay. So, yeah, don't use tennis ball. Use use like a, a hard rubber ball, mm-hmm. you know. They have so many of those. Now and, uh, yeah, 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 you know, or... But remember, <clears throat> you don't want to, you know, this is a good time to talk about this too. What kind of toys you should use? You have two types of toy, chew toys and uh, play toys. Mm-hmm. And you should make a podcast of that. Okay. Okay. Um, anyway, so so don't leave the play toys in front of the dog. Just give him a chew toy, right? And But, but uh, what I want to say is... Um, 
so, so, so first, you know, when the puppy's chewing on your leg, chasing your f- shoelaces, just go down there and say firmly, no, and grab it by, with your hand by the neck mm-hmm. and shake it a little bit, right? And people, oh, that's horrible. No, that's what mother dog would do or wolf would do. They yeah. would just grab and growl. Yeah. <coughs> grab, and that's what you're doing. You, you, you yeah. grab, you bite the puppy with your hand. Yeah. And you growl, no, right? And they, 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 they're genetically predisposed to understand that. Yeah. You know, it's not cruel. It's just a yeah, communication. Communication, like we speak English and dogs speak dog. And this yeah. is a dog language. Yeah. And then, you know, and they may come right back and right back. And, and, and you keep doing it until the dog stops. And also at the same time or different time, you start redirecting the dog on something else. Yeah. Right? It's got to go somewhere. That, gotta, energy. that, that drive so got to go somewhere, yeah, right? Yeah. You cannot just stop yeah. it because if you yeah. just stop it, it builds up in the dog like a, a, a damming a dam with water and eventually it out. spills yeah. over and you okay. will have some kind of a behavior problem, yeah. okay? Dog starts chewing on your couch or something like that. And so, so, <clears throat> so, so you redirect the attention to some other toy like the rubber ball, or or some kind of a, you know some or or bone mm-hmm. right meaty bone mm-hmm. and you should not use um, so okay I'll I'll talk about now about the toys because this is a good part, point to talk about it um, you should so so you have a play toys which dogs should not chew on. It's just strictly to satisfy their prey drive, which could be ball or tuck toy or, mm-hmm. or stick. Hey, yeah. stick, you know, stick is good. Yeah, they bring it You back. know, I w- when I was a little kid, you know, they didn't have expensive weapons. I just, yeah. we just broke a little branch and we had a gun, right? <laughs> you know, or or twig and we had a, f- yeah. we, had, we were fencing with twigs, yeah. right? We didn't need to spend thousands yeah. of dollars on so you can Game Boy. Find a good that. stick for the dog then. Yeah, so so find a stick, and you know I don't have any play toys with my dog. Besides that, you throw a play toy somewhere, and dog doesn't find it. Now you lost a play toy, so yeah, no, so yeah. you gotta go buy another one. Nah, yeah. just get a stick. Yeah, yeah. You know that's where I'm from yeah. anyway. Yeah. Usually, most toys people buy, they're buying it for himself. The dog, the dog doesn't, doesn't go out and yeah. shop. <laughs> the dog doesn't care, you know, <laughs> if it's a stick or whatever, what right? Color with yeah. yeah, so. So you have a you have a you have a play toys or training toys, yeah. right? Yeah. And don't allow the dog chew on it, right? Don't, you know, it's just that's not what they're for. And then you should have a chew toy, which has nothing to do with the prey drive. But since we're talking toys, I'm mentioning it. Yeah. I like big meaty bone, mm-hmm. you know, and let them chew on that because dogs, they have a desire to chew. On things, so you know. So again, that's a that's a drive. Yeah, and uh, you, you you which is inherited. But what the dog is gonna chew on, it's learned. So it could be your couch or your yeah. shoes or yeah. or a meaty bone, right? Yeah. So it's gonna channel somewhere. Yeah, again, it's gonna same, go somewhere. So teach them yeah. to yeah. chew on the bone, yeah. right? Right. Now, now why don't you? Why wouldn't you want the dog to chew on play toy? Because play toys are made out of stuff which um, other things in your house are made out of, right? Like like uh, 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 fabric, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's made out of fabric, yep. right? Yep. And uh, rubber, you know, the sole of your shoes is probably from yep. rubber, right? Yep. So the dog learns to chew on that, and then they go and destroy your shoes. And oh, you, you basically taught it, oh, you can chew on this rubber ball. It's an association. And then you cannot happened. find the rubber ball. So what does he do? Picks up go something else, which is Got rubber. It. Okay. Right? Okay. Start chewing on your okay. on your shoes or, okay. or whatever. Bottom right? of whatever the chair it, is rubber. Yeah, or whatever is whatever. made out of rubber yeah. or okay. fabric or whatever. Yeah. If you enjoyed this content so far, please subscribe to our channel. Also, Hans has a podcast channel called Dog Training for Life. Check that out so you can listen to the audio version. So the, 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 um, the play toys uh, to which you redirect the dog are, you know, inevitably made out of plastic or rubber or, or fabric or something. Yeah. But 
<clears throat> but don't let the dog to chew on them. Yeah. Okay. okay. <coughs> so, so, so you redirect the attention, and you should probably do it uh, in separate way. You know, not like from from correcting, right? So you're correcting dog not to chew on your leg. Yeah. And 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 maybe I would not redirect the the chewing on your leg or on your foot. I would not put it together with uh, teaching them to to chase a toy, okay. right? I would not because then the dog wanna play with the toy, so you gotta start chewing on your leg, right? Yeah. Again, there. You know, you gotta always think to the lowest common denominator, you know, of what's going on. Yeah. You know. So a correction is a correction, right? Right. That's it. It stays there. It's not a. So if I want to correct the dog chewing on my ankle, and it's really hard because those puppies, especially the driven puppies, they have this amazing drive and they see this movie and they just cannot quit. You got to understand they cannot help themselves, right? Yeah. So you really got to kind of work on it. I say no and, and, and correct, no and correct. And even if it doesn't work, eventually uh-huh. it's going to click, okay? Yeah. So so don't 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 be frustrated and be afraid that you're a vicious puppy who's going to eat your children for breakfast, okay? Yeah. So it might be like 50, 100 times. I don't know how many, yeah. right? It could be that high. Like, yeah. It, so it, we're it, just saying. You right? know, I know I, I, I grabbed yeah. and, and people say, well, I just corrected him. Why well, is he coming back? Because he cannot help it. You did it twice. <laughs> yeah, you did it twice or 10 right. times. Or 10. And, 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 but the puppy... The drive is so strong that he cannot help yeah. it. Yeah. So I, what I do, I grab the puppy by the neck, not by the skin that much, or, yeah. but kind of grab it like the mother would grab it. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but mother, you know, she will go and grab the puppy, yeah. right, yeah. Uh, by, by, by the back yeah. or by the neck. So you do, no, and grab it or shake it a little bit. Don't yeah. hurt the puppy, yeah. Yeah. right, but yeah. make sure he gets the message. Yeah. And that way you're establishing leadership position. Yeah. You know, which is really important. And on top of it, the puppy is learning slowly, hey, this is, you know, let's let's do something else. Yeah. And then in separate time, let's say you have a puppy in the crate, right? Mm-hmm. And you take it out and, and maybe even, and you use a flirt pole. We have a video on flirt yeah. pole for sale. Yeah. So you may want to buy, it's not that expensive. Yeah. And, uh, and you can play with a flirt pole with the dog and redirect, you know, and teach him to chase that. Yeah. And you can put all sorts of things on the end of the float pole. Yeah. You can put a plastic bottle, water bottle, yeah, empty it's... one. You can put a white cotton sock on it, mm-hmm. whatever. And 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 you you know you play, say, you know, and you can give them you know uh, uh, some kind of a command, whatever you want to. That that's another video we did. You can say come, right? Yeah. And, come. and the dog says, you say come. It's oh, I gotta play with flirt pole, and they run towards you. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And, so um, you use that. That's a perfect way of using yeah, it. Yeah, you can teach the dog come yeah. that way, right? Yeah. That's another video about the come mm-hmm. video, which we did the podcast yeah. on that. Yeah. And so, 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 but, but you, you teach it afresh. Don't do it after the correction, right? You're correcting the dog on your foot. Yeah. And then try to redirect it on something else. Nah, it's probably not a good idea, right? Yeah. It's kind of too complex. Mm-hmm. Right, you, you. I know in hu- human language, it says, "Well, I don't want you to do this, do that." Yeah. No, always teach one thing at a time. So one thing at a time is don't do that. That's one thing. That's it. Okay. And then do this. That's yeah. another thing, and teach it sometimes else. Yeah. So you're taking puppy out of the crate. Yeah. And then roll tennis ball, or you roll the tennis or tennis ball. You see, I said don't yep. use tennis ball, right? Uh, uh, roll, roll, roll a ball or something in front of the crate, back and forth, and puppy's looking from the crate on it. And then you open the door and you start chasing it. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Good, what's a really good toy uh, to, for puppy to chase? Uh, a piece of paper. Okay. Right. Just, make a make yeah. a ball out of uh-huh. it. You know. Yeah. I used to use newspaper, but newspapers almost don't exist, right? Yeah. So so kind of paper, you know, yeah. like Pro- somewhat rigid, but not like too. the print you print on a day by ten. Yeah, yeah. Something. Like you have a. You have a paper for printer, right? Yeah. So you make a ball out of it and just kind of roll it in front of it. Uh-huh. And it's light and puppy, it's white, you know, it attracts them. Uh-huh. You know, and, and okay. so they go. And you know why dogs like white, right? Uh, uh, nobody really knows, but 
but but you know you can see nature like a white-tailed deer has a white tail yeah. so that when wolf or something goes after it instead of grabbing it on the throat it will grab it on their ass right because of the that white color attracts the dogs like okay the yeah. so you can use a white cotton sock on a flirt pole or you uh -huh. can use a white paper ball and roll it yeah you know you don't need to spend expensive money on expensive yeah. toys unless it makes you happy but that's what i was gonna say my wife just like stop buying toys for them like, there's <laughs> so many toys. i'm sure listeners out there the same same thing but yeah well dogs like their toys you know sometimes yeah. you know whatever yeah but yeah uh, i heard i heard this uh, story which really was touching story to me uh, uh of the speaking of toys right this woman wrote this story i read it oh god 15 maybe 20 years ago i was stuck in my mind and uh the dog for some reason it's a prey drive because he pick up things and carry it somewhere mm -hmm. picked up her shoe mm -hmm. and uh and and took it and hit it somewhere so she always had only one shoe and she couldn't know <laughs> She didn't know where those uh, shoes are. She uh -huh. couldn't find them, you know. Uh -huh. She put the dog somewhere crawling in the basement or uh -huh. crawl space or something, yeah. put those shoes there. Yeah. And she was really frustrated. It's kind of similar to the prey drive chasing your foot. The puppy was, uh, the dog was just picking up the shoe. Uh -huh. And then the woman says uh, she was like, uh, so there was, there was this dog like a, uh, a treasure, uh -huh. you know, like a, a prized possession you know like the most somewhere she had hidden all these shoes just uh -huh. one one from a pair right uh -huh. and then the woman says uh, was writing she got a cancer mm -hmm. right and uh, she was getting chemotherapy and she was really sick yeah. right and and so so she was sleeping and uh then she feels this weight on her chest so she she wakes up and look, and this dog brought all those shoes wow. and piled them up on her. Wow. Right? Yeah. Like, here, bam. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. You know, so so it was, uh, yeah. dogs, so they, are, dogs yeah. are super, you know? Yeah. And uh, that's a prey drive. Yeah. Right? Picking up things, carry them, hide them. You yeah. know, that's part of the prey drive. That's the same thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah, carry, yeah. Yeah, so it's. So it's uh, it's 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 a special thing. Yeah. Don't despise it. Just you know, you bought your. You know, I yeah. always hear people saying, "Here we go again." Right? <laughs> uh, people people say, "Well, I want a high driven puppy," and then they have this issue, and they suddenly don't want the high drive, right? Yeah. Yeah. And and so 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 you know, if you have it, it's a precious thing. The high prey drive. You can use it for all sorts of training. Yeah. It's very valuable. Yeah. Same as defense drive. Both yeah. are very valuable. Yeah. yeah. You know, but you just 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 uh, go along with the dog, which is my favorite saying yeah. as far as dog training goes. I know you said and that. use um the drive for whatever you want and, yeah. and don't despise it. Yeah. You know, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, even so it's painful at first, you know, because yeah. he, I had yeah. legs <laughs> scratched up and all that. And, and those little sharp teeth, man, especially when you burp food, oh, they hurt. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like nails. Yeah. So anyway, to conclude this, yeah. don't despise it. Redirect the attention to some other toys, but do it separate. And correct the dog uh, when they are biting on your leg, you know, um, by saying no, no, no. Eventually, dog understands what no is. You're establishing leadership position. And uh, you know, uh, you 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 the, you communicate, and the puppy learns uh, what to use the prey drive and what not to use the prey drive. Yeah, yeah. that's it. That's all basic stuff like this. And um, yeah. you know, so and by the way, it, it'll go away. You know, just be patient. It's usually this, this <laughs> time when they yeah. chewing on your leg or stuff or foot. Ah. Maybe a week or two, or maybe yeah, seems three. like a year, but <laughs> yeah, and eventually it goes yeah. away, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's it for that. No, this was great. Um, I mentioned in the uh, beginning, uh, please subscribe. We love to uh, have you as a subscriber because uh, uh, once we publish a new episode, then you obviously get a update 
on it. And uh, don't forget to go to uh, Alpine. Um, K9. <laughs> like spacing. Alp, <laughs> no, Alpine K9 Real is the educational website where uh, where these videos, instructional videos are. I always want to say this in the, at the end, or I should say it during too. Uh, we don't want to do a lot of sales, but the reality is that Hans does have these videos at alpinek 9 realcom and, and you guys can What purchase. do you mean we don't want to make a lot of sales? No, no, no. <laughs> no, salesy, salesy. Like, you know, yeah, we want to make sales, but I don't want to make it salesy. <laughs> Sometimes people, you know, start selling stuff <clears throat> right away. We want to give you guys People always say, well, yeah. I don't do it for the money. I said, okay, well, give it to me free then. Yeah, no, well. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... When I was in Czechoslovakia, people said, well, they breed the dogs, they're, they're, they do it for the money. I said, well, so when you breed a yeah. dog, you, you have good dogs, right? Said, oh, so well, give me some free. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah, I'll take them. Yeah. No, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with money, man. Absolutely nothing. So You know, what's wrong with yeah. is the love of money, by the way. The love, yeah. Just, yeah. When you All make right. it the ultimate thing. So, yeah. Thank you for listening, everyone, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks, Hans. Hey, thank you.